Hi, Elise. How are you doing today? Um, doing pretty well, but uh, I'm kind of concerned about something. Yeah, I, I'm aware you have some symptoms that have been bothering you. Can you tell me about those? Yeah, uh, sometimes uh, I have problems like with my attention, and you know, I was looking it up online, mm -hmm. and I, I'm, I'm really worried that I might have ADHD. ADHD. All right. So we'll we'll talk about that. Let me ask you a few quick questions before we mm -hmm. we get to that. Um, do you ever feel depressed? No. No. Anxious? No. Any trouble with drugs or alcohol or anything like that? Oh no. Nothing like that. Okay. Um, why do you think you have ADHD? Oh, well, cause I mean I've always had a problem with my attention, mm -hmm. um, and I can get distracted very easily. And All right. So, so trouble establishing attention. Yes. How about difficulty in holding attention? Like once you have established it. Yeah. Trouble with both of those. Mhm. Mm All right. And you mentioned the word distracted. Yes. Yeah. So you find yourself easily distracted. Yes. You do. Okay. How about? Um, well, give me an idea of the setting. So, is this at work or school? Oh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere? Mm -hmm. All right. So, do you work? Yes, I do. Yeah. Do you go to school? Yes, I do. All right. How old are you? I'm 24. 24. All right. And this problem with the attention affects you at work yeah. and at school. Mm -hmm. And you, you said everywhere? Yeah, pretty much just part of my everyday life now. All right. You're 24 now. When did you first notice the attention problems? Oh, I've always had that. Uh, I mean, even when I was in like elementary school, you know, I was always that kid. You've had it for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. How about uh, how disturbing it is? Like, how much is it interfering with your functioning? It really, it really does. It's really problematic for yeah. you. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a few other questions here. Uh, we talked about the attention. So it's hard for you to give attention and hold attention. Yeah. How about listening? Let's let's go with the um, the school environment okay. for now. Let's talk about uh, school. How about listening in class? No, I don't really have a problem with that. That's not a problem for you. No. How about following instructions? No. Tell me about your organizational skills. Oh, I'm very organized. You're very organized. Yeah, I have to be in college. Do you find yourself avoiding F, um, activities that require a lot of mental investment, mental energy? No, not really. No? No. All right. Do you, do you move toward those type of activities? Well, I'm not opposed to them. Like, I yeah. like chess and okay. checkers. All right. Do you ever find yourself losing things that you need to complete different jobs or tasks? No. Okay, I'm going to change gears and ask you some other questions around a different area. Okay. okay. Do you ever find yourself like fidgeting, tough to stay still? Not really, no. No. In school, like, we'll, again, we'll, we'll kind of stick with the school environment. Okay. Uh, do you find it difficult to stay seated? No, not at all. No. How do you do when you are engaging in a quiet activity? Um, I do pretty well. You do okay with that? Yeah. You don't find yourself wandering off? No. With that? Okay. Know. Do you ever feel like uh, like internally there's a motor running and you can't shut it off? No. No? How about um, being talkative? Do you find yourself talkative? I'm very talkative. You're very talkative? Very talkative. Sometimes I, I end up being rude and I interrupt people because I just, I got to get it out. All right. So you feel like you talk a lot mm -hmm. and that you interrupt. Yes, I do. Interrupt people. In a situation where it would be traditional to like wait in line or wait your turn, do you find that's difficult for you? No. No. Do you ever find yourself, like for example in class, just saying something, uh, like blurting something out without giving it much thought? No, not really. No? Okay. 
All right. I think I have what I need here, uh, and I want to get you in to see a counselor. Okay. If that works for you. Because yes. you did mention this was affecting your functioning. Yes. So I want to want to make sure you get to see a counselor. It'll just take a couple days to get you in to see somebody if that works for you. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate you taking this time with me. This uh, information has been helpful. Thank you very much. Thanks, Louise.